Dan Dickerson has been in the broadcast booth for the Tigers for 20 years, but now he's benched. Tonight, Jamie Edmonds talks to the voice of the Tigers about when he thinks he'll get back to work. It's nice to hear your voice. I'm used to hearing your voice this time of year. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to join you and talk some sports because we all miss it, don't we? The 3-1, swinging a fly ball, left field. It's deep, going back is Duncan at the fence, and that ball is gone! We sure do, Dan, and all of us are wondering when it will return. Dickerson doesn't know about a timetable, but his hunch is baseball will be back for at least a shortened season. They have to feel comfortable that when they bring the players back, the players are going to know that they're going into a, an environment where everybody has tested negative, it's going to be a safe environment. And then when they leave the ballpark, I, I don't picture a quarantine, but whatever the plan is, then they're going to have to continue practicing the good social distancing, physical distancing that we've seen for the last seven weeks. An 80-game season is a lot different than a full season. Dickerson says he's not sure how the minor league system would work, which could mean the young stars are up in the big league this year. Mize, Manning, Scooble, and maybe Alex Fajardo's in that group as well, but especially those three because they're at Toledo and they're not far from the major leagues and they've got stuff and they're going to help this team sooner rather than later. But it also, Riley Green. You know, last year's number one pick, fifth overall, a high school kid came up and he got 19 plate appearances in spring training games and showed that he wasn't overawed by anything. The 1-0, swinging a fly ball, wow. left field, it's wow. deep, it's way back! The Tigers are going to the World Series! Dickerson is quarantined at home with his wife and grown kids, a son and a daughter. He calls it bonus time with his favorite people. It's been great to spend the extra time with them. I mean, it's time that I never would have gotten otherwise. Uh, it, it's not great for them. It stinks. It's, but for me, it's bonus time with uh, two people I really enjoy being around. We also talked about Mr. Tiger. Dickerson says the Hall of Famer was ever present at the ballpark, and he took his role as special assistant very seriously. He would go down to that clubhouse every, you know, almost every day and just sit by a locker, maybe chat with a player, just sit and read a newspaper. But he wanted to let them know he was there. And I think it was very gratifying for him the last couple of years that the younger players were taking advantage of, oh, Hall of Famer Al Kaline is sitting right there. Dickerson believes Al Kaline will be memorialized the right way, the way he deserves, when we can all gather together again. Here's to hoping that sooner rather than later, so we can all hear that familiar voice soon. Cloudy, breezy, and warm in downtown Detroit. We're getting ready for game two of this series. Tigers and Indians, Matthew Boyd going for his 13th win of the year. Dickerson says he will feel comfortable going back to work whenever that is, and he'll follow all the rules that the team and the ballparks put into place, but he will lose the mask when he's calling the game. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. He is such a good play-by-play -play man. It's great to hear his voice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is.